In this video, we are going to talk about, Top 10 Greatest Ancient Warriors. So before starting this video please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. History is full of incredible ancient warriors from all corners of the planet. Although warrior culture differed in minor ways depending on location, these greatest ancient warriors had a few things in common. They were brave, intelligent, charismatic, and above all, lethal. Here is the list of top 10 greatest ancient warriors, let's start. Number 10. Alexander the Great. Arguably one of the greatest generals of antiquity. Born in 356 BC his early years were spent under the tutelage of Aristotle. His early military career was spent releasing Greece from the grasp of the Persians. Throughout his reign, the casualties of his troops compared to those of his enemies were considerably less mostly due to his quick tactical thinking and his love for the men who fought under him. Number 9. Leonidas I best known for his heroic last stand at the Battle of Thermopylae. Leonidas' early years have barely been documented although legend has it that he was the descendant of Heracles. His reign began somewhere around 490 BC and he shared control with Leotichides, as was Spartan custom of the time. Leonidas learned of the betrayal and sent away most of his men keeping only the 300 Spartans that made up his personal guard. Number 8. Sun Tzu. A Chinese general, Sun Tzu was the author of the first and most sophisticated book on military theory ever written, The Art of War. While not much is known about the man, it is generally accepted that he was an accomplished general who served the King of Wu in the period of the Warring States in the 4th century BC. Number 7. Hannibal Barca. A Carthaginian general, Hannibal was a master strategist who developed outflanking tactics. After the death of his brother-in-law Hasdrubal, he took command of the gallo carthaginian army and set his sights on Rome. He set out in the spring of 218 BC and fought his way through the Pyrenees and the Alps with a force of 46,000 soldiers and 37 war elephants. Number 6. Gaius Julius Caesar. The greatest general in Rome's history, Caesar came to power first as a quaestor and praetor before being elected as consul and proconsul in 59 BC and organizing the first triumvirate with Pompey and Crassus. In 44 BC he became dictator for life, a title that was short-lived because on the Ides of March 15, 44 BC, he was stabbed to death by a group of his friends and protégés. Number 5. Miyamoto Musashi. The greatest swordfighter of his time, Miyamoto Musashi, is one of the best-known samurai in Japanese history. By the time, he was 13 he had already won his first duel against Arima Kaige, a student of military arts. His most famous written work is The Book of Five Rings, which covers the sum of his experience as a swordfighter including strategy, tactics and philosophy. Number 4. Alaric the Barbarian. Alaric the Barbarian trained in the Roman army and later commanded Gothic troops, who fought with the Romans under the command of Emperor Theodosius. Alaric the Barbarian ruled the Visigoths from 395 to 410 CE, and despite being labeled as a barbarian, he was actually Christian. As the first king of the Visigoths, Alaric the Barbarian was a lethal and strategic leader who was eventually credited with sacking Rome. Number 3. Saladin. Known to the Western world as the anti-hero of the Third Crusade, he is revered in the Middle East as the hero who returned Jerusalem into Muslim hands. Early in his military career he worked on uniting Arab forces under his control first in Egypt then in Syria and Palestine. He then set his sights on Jerusalem and conquered King Guy de Lusignan at the Battle of Hatton. Number 2. Spartacus. Spartacus is most widely known as the Gladiator, who led the revolt against Rome during the Gladiatorial War. It is not known for sure how Spartacus became a gladiator but the leading theory is that he once fought for the Roman army but deserted and became a thief. He was arrested and sold as a gladiator due to his strength. Spartacus was killed in a battle at Lucania in 71 BC and his men were crucified. Number 1. Richard I. Richard I was given the nickname Lionheart for his exceptional fighting ability and courage. Richard took the cross in 1188 when he heard of Saladin's successful conquest of Jerusalem. He spent his final five years reclaiming his throne from his brother John and fighting against Philip's advances into Normandy. So this is our today's video. If you like our video don't forget to subscribe to my channel, or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic till